Everybody, welcome to Squad Pod Sports. Today on the episode, we're going to be talking about the NBA Finals. We predicted exactly what was going to happen. We'll Once talk again. about that. <laughs> Once again, we'll talk about that and all the other NBA news because now we're getting a ton of news from the NBA just on all these different players now that the season's over. Of course, we're going to be talking about Gronkowski finally announcing his retirement. We'll be talking about his legacy, wearing his jersey tonight, and uh, all the other NFL news that's going on out there throughout the week. So stay tuned. Welcome to Squad Pod Sports. We're bringing your thoughts on the latest games and sports news around the sports world. I am Wyatt, as always, joined by Vernon. And, man, we predicted it spot on. Spot on. Spot on. Mm. Weeks ago, the Warriors are going to win this in six games. Yeah. And, boom, what happened? Game six. I don't, We didn't really get a game six clay, per se, like we all expected. No. But we knew that Steph was going to be coming back. But Steph, exactly, fire. and it ended up being exactly what we said: Warriors and six. They didn't, they didn't mess around and end up losing like on a all oh, we could, yeah. you know, go back and witness or what. But no, they they got we predicted taken care like of. by the game too. Mm -hmm. Like we predicted that like Celtics were going to win that one and the Warriors are going to win the, <laughs> win those next couple. Yep, yep. On and the I, money, man. I heard a lot of people talking about the Warriors aren't going to win a couple straight. Blah, blah blah. It's been so back and forth, and like look, they got it done. You know, they got it done. Got yeah. The fourth championship. Steph got the finals MVP. Uh, well deserved. And it's just. Yeah. Like he said. Got that one thing he was missing. He was talking to the young bulls on the team where he's saying, we're just getting started. So, like, this is another Warriors dynasty brewing, you know? is It certainly seems like it. Because it seems like they're going to be bringing damn near the whole team back yeah. next year. Yeah. It, it's like they're already talking about. We signed Wiggins on a deal, Jordan Poole, KD. Yeah, we'll get to the Kyrie news, but hey, if that happens, <laughs> KD go piece up out. Damn, y'all, y'all like that again? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the Warriors, they did it like we predicted. Uh, Steph became MVP finally, Finals MVP. Mm -hmm. uh, in that last game, Game Six, they went on a twenty-one and O scoring run, and it's the longest scoring run in Finals history. Uh, well, over the last fifty years, and when the previous high was a twenty and O run by the Warriors in Game Two in twenty nineteen, so they broke their own record. So, I mean, like, yeah, that's just kind of separated themselves. I saw a graphic uh, today where it was just showing the different legacies, like the Warriors dominating, um, the Lakers dominating, the Bulls dominating, the Spurs. Like, just there's teams that stick out, you know, and yeah. the, they're they're cementing themselves as a staple in NBA history here. It's, it's yeah. crazy. And it and, looks like they're not done yet, man. Exactly. Like you said. They, they could end up winning more. Like, imagine Steph gets the six or seven rings. Like, that would be wild. Yeah, because now this offseason, uh, Clay actually has a full offseason yep. to not only get healthier, but also just, get in better game shape and just get ready for that next season. Exactly. And then, yeah, he, he they're going to be fully healthy he going forward. He can focus forward. on improving his game instead of just being able to play the game, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Am I am I healthy enough to actually play? Right, yeah, like you're saying. Hey, I'm excited for it, action. and I'm not too excited about the Lakers' future, but maybe that'll change come <laughs> October. You know, we'll see. Uh, but I'm excited for the future of the NBA for sure. And the Warriors getting it done just kind of seems right a after this whole season here. We we kind of we we knew that they were capable of it all year. We knew they were capable yeah, of it all last year. year. Yeah, but I mean, that Steph was in MVP con contention mm -hmm. last year at, at one point as well. Uh, I mean, there was always talk. There seems to be talk every year about the Warriors right. either somehow making it or, yeah, they're definitely going to make it. Yeah. Uh, that's, <laughs> point. <laughs> that's usually like one of the two options. Right. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Steph is one of only six players in NBA history to have four rings, multiple MVPs and a finals MVP. Uh, joining LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Tim Duncan, and of course, you know, Steph Curry on that list now. Mm -hmm. So that that's a huge elite list to be a part of. It really and is. And he's forever cemented himself as one of the greats of all time. He's a game changer, man. Absolute game yeah. changer. And he just keep, keeps it going. He's not young, but he's he's not too old yet. You know, he's still got a good, like, four or five years of prime, Steph, at least. Yeah. And, I mean... Going over on the other side, the Celtics, they, they put up a good fight. You know, they took the game six with them. Uh, but those those last two games, you could really see the they, momentum yeah, they just, squeezed out of them. It just didn't seem like they they could do anything 
you know, to stop him, especially on like that 21 to 0 run. Like, it's just, it was almost embarrassing to a point where what happened? They, they were almost a different team from the beginning of the series. You know? Well, it seems like the Warriors just got better and better and better, yeah. too, because the Warriors were playing lockdown D in those last couple games, especially Draymond. Draymond went on fire those Draymond, last two games. Yeah. I mean, may not may not look like it on the stat sheet, but on the court, man, when you, if you're watching these games, he was being a menace, just, just hounding the ball. Absolutely. And it's just, you know, Tatum, he really didn't step up the way that he no. was expected to, though. So. Yeah, really, Jalen Brown did, question. but what, he needed Tatum. What are they going to do in the future? Because, you know, this is just another disappointing playoff loss, but you got a little bit closer, you know, so it's they, like... Yeah, they, they got the farthest they could. They actually had the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll get if it this eventually. maybe would have been like the Suns, yeah, I think the Celtics could have did it, but yeah. I don't know. But <laughs> we both, like we said, we predicted this, Warriors and Six, and they, they got it taken care of. Oh, I'm, I'm glad whatever our predictions come true. Yeah, uh, and a disappointing fact uh, about Jason Tatum. He's the first player in NBA history with 100 turnovers in a single postseason. <laughs> like, he broke that record officially now. Oh, man. Fuck Boston. No bueno. Yeah. Uh, and sticking with the Warriors, Kevin Looney, he didn't miss a single game all season. Damn. This dude. He played 104 games. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> this dude he played deserves in all his ring. Regular season games and then all twenty-two playoff games, he bro. Deserves that How does ring. that even happen? Hey, like man. nobody plays eighty-two games anymore. He's like, no rest. I don't need no rest. I'm good. Let the other guys rest. And look, gets chip out of it. Yeah, bro. hard work paid off. Hard work. That's crazy. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, that was really cool. Uh, but I mean, congratulations. I mean, they already had their, their parade. I guess they didn't have, like, any speeches of any kind. They're doing, like, a separate broadcast I saw of, okay. like, them actually talking about everything just one by one. But I, they already had the parade and everything. So uh, we're rolling into the off season here. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else you want to talk about as far as, like, the NBA Finals for you, Um, As far as the Finals specifically, no. But we are rolling okay. into the NBA off season here where we're having players who are, like, opting in and out of uh, player yeah. options and things like that. And one of the ones that I thought was very interesting was uh john wall opted in to his 47.4 million <laughs> like why wouldn't you option. anybody why would be you? crazy to not do something like this so now it's exactly pushed it like, on them I like, played your in like two years and you're telling me i could just accept a deal to make another 42 bill okay 47 yeah, 47.4 47 yeah like, so yeah Oh my God! So sign that in instant. I feel like he's gonna play this year. I just don't know where. That's the biggest question. Like, where is he gonna play? Who's well, gonna take the, that contract? That's the hard part. Because of course John Wall <laughs> wants. Of course John Wall wants to play, and he wants that money. But if somebody trades for him, they're gonna have to take on that deal. Yeah. So who's gonna want to take on that kind of deal for someone who hasn't played? In a, in That's a while a now. Make it like top five players in the NBA as far as pay. And this it's guy a hasn't risk. played in years. That's a huge risk. Oh, man. But, it's, but the reward could be great if he could stay healthy and he plays well. I mean, last time he played, uh, he actually did play well. Maybe they so... could figure something out where they get this contract divvied up over like the next 15 years, you know. <laughs> or like maybe like the Rockets pay like half of it or yeah. something and the other team will pay the other half or something. They'd have to figure out kind of like the Baker Mayfield situation. They're trying to figure out if they're going to trade him, who's going to take what of the contract. Right. I just, I do want to see yeah, John Wall playing somewhere next year. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's just a matter of where. Could it be Brooklyn? Could mm, it be the Lakers? I could see Brooklyn taking all that deal. You know, <laughs> They would too, man. They would. Uh, it's going to go about the same way, but he's actually going to play. <laughs> Probably. Uh, we talked about this last week. They talked about Kenny Atkinson's become signing like a four year deal with the Hornets to become head coach. Uh, he said, psych. Nah, he reneged his deal. Uh, apparently he's deciding to stick with the Warriors as an assistant coach, as a top assistant coach. What? Michael Jordan's like, you said no to me. <laughs> like yeah. what? So now what D'Antoni's in or what? What's Dan going Tony on? had an interview with Jordan today, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> they said Mike D'Antoni had an interview here on like, Tuesday. Look, I know uh, we didn't go with you originally, and it was, you know, public, like, guy had the job and everything, but we would love, you're perfect for the role. We would love to bring this you in. This dude like, want a chip as, another chip as an assistant. He's, he's like, like, you know what? Whoa. I'm going to stick around. I like this a lot better. I'm I ain't cool going with this. nowhere. 
<laughs> I, I can always get a head coach job eventually. That's crazy. But I'm gonna ride to Josh McDaniels, huh? Straight up. Damn. Like they like they already had the rumored four year deal and everything out. <laughs> nope. Psych, I'm gonna go win some chips. Yeah, because he's definitely got a lot more success coming to him with the Warriors than he would on the Hornets. He would have to build it up on the Hornets, but it's already there. He's he's part of the working system that the Warriors have. Yeah, so it's looking like I mean Mike D'Antoni had his interview, but it's looking like it might be Mike D'Antoni over there in Charlotte. Yeah, most likely. That would make sense at this point. How many interviews has he had? Like three now? Yeah, I think so. Uh moving on, Clippers forward Nick Batum will decline his three point three mil player option and become a free agent. So that's a nice veteran player out there. Yeah, hell yeah. Probably go to one of those contending teams, I'm sure. Just kind of looking to be a deaf piece on one of them. Seems like someone else the Nets would sign. Yeah. Or the, or the <laughs> Heat. Or the Heat. Yeah, the Heat. <laughs> uh, the Suns hired Morgan Cato, an assistant GM and vice president of basketball operations, making her one of the NBA's highest-ranking women in the front office. Nice. Which is pretty damn cool. Awesome. That's pretty Congrats, cool to hear. Congratulations to her. crap my phone glitched out oh. uh miami's pj tucker is opting out of his 7.4 million dollar player option for 2022 23 season because he's very interesting he's definitely going to be a big piece on a contender and now he gets to choose wherever he wants to go so it's bidding war is on um i don't know how much he'll be making you know per se but like it's definitely as far as like being able to bring him on is going to be huge for a contender somebody yeah. who's a couple he won that away. chip with milwaukee here mm-hmm. a couple years ago um I mean, yeah, that's that's a nice little piece to, to scoop out there if anybody can scoop him. I saw Chicago had eyes at him for yeah. a little bit. And so man, I'd be cool with I could see him, him definitely latching on to Chicago there. A little cheap option. Who knows what's going on in Chicago, man? We're going to find out here in the next, like, 10 days. Yeah. Uh, God. Speaking of that, the draft is coming up very soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, it seems like a lot of teams are either going to be trading out and just trying to just get some trades going on to build their rosters up a little bit more. Uh, you may see a couple teams trade up, though. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of rumors about the trade up, but a lot of rumors about other Trading people back. trying to trade out or just kind of stack some picks. Yeah, for maybe the future or something like that. Like, they're not necessarily trying to go after anybody crazy this draft, um, especially yeah. teams that are already kind of a couple pieces away. They're not going to find that piece necessarily just here in the draft. Like, yeah, maybe. Sometimes, or you could stack, you know, trade stacks of picks to go out there and get somebody. Exactly. Like someone you really need. Exactly. So it's really a, a race right now as far as trying to figure out what's going to, what's happening and who's going yeah. where and what player options are getting signed. And it's just, <laughs> it's wild. It's like the wild, wild, We're going like to have a lot to talk about the next, in the next couple days weeks here. Are, are pretty crazy here. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of crazy, the Kyrie Irving saga continues there in Brooklyn. Apparently, they've been having contract talks just on an extension here going forward, but they seem to hit an impasse in conversations, uh, clearing the way for his seven-time All-Star to consider opting into the open market. Mm. And apparently, the Lakers and Knicks are suitors, from what they're saying. Yeah. Uh, but they, Sham Sharani also said that he's still going to talk with Brooklyn about having an extension because he would like to still play with KD. Uh, but apparently it has not been going well because he wants kind of a longer-term deal than what they're willing to offer from what they're saying. I wonder how that whole LeBron dynamic would go down, you know? And we would only I think he would be LeBron great with you guys, man. I think that would be way better than Russ or any oh, of these yeah. other options. It would be out way there. better than Russ. It probably I think be he would be great for you. You know, I'm still pretty salty that we don't have DeMar. But it yeah. it would be it would be way better than Russ, you know. It's just Russ... if you can keep AD and he can stay healthy, if, like you, Ky- uh, Ky- not you, LeBron, Kyrie, and AD, that yeah. would be a nice trio, man. But even after LeBron leaves, I'm thinking like, what's it look like? Because if if we True. have AD and Kyrie, that's not necessarily too bad, you know. So True. you can kind of build around that. I don't know. I, I would love yeah. to have him on the team, man. That'd be great. That'd be great. I mean, Shams reported apparently Kyrie is looking to like for a home. That's yeah. why he's saying like the law. He wants a longer term deal. Like he doesn't want to be moving around like yeah. he has been these past couple of years. He wants to actually be in one place going forward. It seems well, whether it's in Brooklyn or somewhere LA else, man. Then, because if he doesn't do good, they're gonna chase him out of town. 
Oh yeah. So maybe yeah, maybe not LA. Why, why are you trying to go to these <laughs> big think market LA teams? Would, I think you guys would welcome him with open arms. Yeah, but then once he's terrible like Westbrook, <laughs> it would be oh, it would be so bad. I don't know. I don't know if you got to worry about that. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if you got to worry about. Kyrie's that. got some of the best handles ever. That's true. I, he still got it though. We saw it. He still he was out there hooping with the Nets. Yeah, they just weren't able to get it done. They the just didn't have enough team, depth. He's, people were hurt. Yeah, it just it just didn't. It wasn't as good as it was last year. Yeah, without. Yeah, so I'm sure there's going to be some Kyrie news going forward this summer. Mm. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with him. Uh, going to some sad news: former Purdue basketball star Caleb Swanigan. Uh, died at the age of 25. He played three NBA seasons with the Blazers and the Kings. Yeah, apparently, that is sad, man. Did you say yeah. how? I, I didn't. I didn't see that. I didn't see how. No. No, no but uh, I mean, the NBA world was reaching out there. A lot of uh, the NBA players were out there talking about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just sad news. Yeah, definitely sad. Uh, and moving to some more sad news, uh, James Harden is expected to resign with the Sixers on a, on a short term deal. Well, uh, <laughs> good, good luck, Philly. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> it, it, good luck to both of them because both of them they deserve each other. Like it's just going to be terrible for James Harden and for the Sixers. Joel Embiid's going to be pissed off three quarters of the way through the season around All Star break. Joel Embiid's going to have already talked shit on James Harden like at least three times. <laughs> Like publicly in put in press conferences. And like I know I know we shit on Ben Simmons so hard. Like <laughs> like everybody else. But there's a small part of me I hope he does so fucking well for the Nets. Like he goes out there and hoops yeah. and just like I hope it'd there's be just like a small a part Tony of me just Romo, so these Sixers fans would be, like, be like, Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we it's that just shit. like for me it, it equates to like Tony Romo just not being on the Cowboys anymore and now he's likable. Like with you guys, like yeah. Tom Brady not being on the Patriots anymore, now you like him like I like Tom Brady. I don't know. I still don't fuck with Ben Simmons, so it depends on what he does in the future here. I yeah, I don't fuck but with I don't him really fuck either. With the Sixers more than I don't fuck with yeah. Ben Simmons. So I, I feel yeah. you on that. And that's why I hope like is a small part of me. I just want him yeah. to go out there just like, <laughs> oh man, it'd be hilarious. Lockdown defense. The, they were roasting him on Twitter today, bro. He posted a picture of him out there on a boat and he said like, on vacation. they like, how's it? Don't you have to work to be on vacation? And like, these people out here roasted Ben Simmons. Damn, bro. <laughs> <sighs> like, this dude, They'll I don't get on the court eventually. ever going to play again? Eventually. <laughs> Uh, just the Jazz released new jerseys for this coming season, and they look pretty fire, man. I'll have to send them so you can put them up. Yeah, but they're going with the old school, like '90s purple with the mountains on them, Ooh. like the retro unis. Yes. and then they have uh, all black unis with yellow lettering. Looks like the Steelers, kind of. Damn. And then they have an all yellow uni with black lettering on it too. I gotta and just check these. They're regular homes. I'm gonna have them up on the screen here, but I definitely gotta check these out here. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty fire, man. I was impressed with those. I love whenever teams get new jerseys. And, like, every year the <laughs> NBA has been releasing, like, kind of, like, slightly new jerseys, you know, for, for different things, you know, and it's just, it's awesome. Yeah, see, I like these city jerseys for a minute, but at the at some point it's like, why am I collecting them? Because you're not reusing them again, it seems. You just do away with them after a year. Because, like, I know Chicago, they had, like, a blue city one one year, like a powder blue, and then they had a... Uh, like that one I have with Levine, it's like the black with the gold lettering. Yeah. And then this year they had like an all another city jersey where it's like all the old retro jerseys kind of pieced together to look like a cool dirt dope jersey. It had like the curse of Chicago on the front. I don't know. It seems like they do a different jersey each year. And it's like it's cool, but at the same time, you kind of want to wear it again through these years and you're not reusing them. Yeah. It's I don't know. They're it's kind still, of a collector's item, I guess. Yeah, they're still pretty cool at the end of the day. Um, and it's, like, unique in its own way because, like you said, it's only been used that one year, you know? Yeah. Bring the shirts back. I like the shirts, too. Yeah. Like, the sleeves. The sleeves. I like I those jerseys. I would like jerseys. to get a sleeve jersey, a sleeve Lakers jersey. Yeah. I, I think want, they should bring those back. They would be cool. I want one of those Black Mamba Lakers jerseys. Oh, the, like, yeah. The special edition ones they had. With, like, the purple? Mm-hmm. It was, like, black and purple? Mm-hmm. This shit, it was yeah, so those dope. were cool. Uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. says that he's working behind the scenes to try to get an NBA team. Yeah, I saw this, <laughs> and like I feel like that means that he's gonna try to get 
the team that comes to Vegas. Like, Vegas watch him be in, the owner yeah. of the team that ends up in Vegas because he was like, I can't tell you where. Like, that's, yeah, he, that's exactly Floyd what he said. I can't and, say exactly where, but, like, come on. Everybody knows, man. Yeah, that's what I mean. He would fuck up and say some obvious shit like that. So, if <laughs> Floyd's going to be owning a team in Las Vegas, you heard it here first, you know, and, and probably I don't, 2026, I don't think it's going to be just him. Like, no. I feel like nowadays it's rare to see one dude just buy a team. Yeah, you have to like partner in with other Walmart, people. You know, like, That's what I'm saying. Someone like that where you one person could spend a billion dollars, multi-billion yeah, dollars on them. But it'll you definitely, have to like, get some investors in. Right. It'll definitely be him and some other people. Um, but I can see the, the Bezos Vegas team. Some, apparently, Bezos has been looking for like either an NFL or an NBA team for a Bezos minute. Bezos will get the Supersonics. There you go. Oh, man. There you go. And he can afford anybody he wants, too. Exactly. <laughs> LeBron, I need you to KD. come KD. I don't care if you're uh, 52 years old. I need you to come. <laughs> We're going to buy our way up at the draft. Get your son. Then you'll come play for us. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, last bit of news I have here as far as NBA, the Rockets traded Christian Wood to Dallas for the 26th pick in the 22 draft. Mm -hmm. uh, Boban Marjanovic, Trey Burke, and Marquise Chris. Uh, and it also Dallas included Sterling Brown at the last second as well. <laughs> so uh, Dallas gave up pretty much everybody for Christian Wood in that 26th pick. Yeah, they're just kind of like, okay, we need to figure out what we can do to get pieces around Luka to really – make this take off like get deeper into the playoffs Christian Wood's a nice piece mm -hmm. uh it just apparently he had just uh, had some issues with the team yeah and I, a while back it was reported but yeah yeah they've been looking to kind of move him for the past year or so uh before we move on to NFL stuff here apparently Sue Bird announced that she will this will be her final year after 21 seasons in the WNBA Damn. see she's yeah. been around pretty much our entire life like the, our, the whole yeah. time we've been watching always anything hear you know. about super damn that's crazy <laughs> she's retiring man that's wild. 21 seasons uh she's a four-time champion wnba all-time assist leader five-time Olymp olympic gold medalist and 12-time all-star five-time gold medalist that's crazy man Pretty that accomplishment great alone career. yeah absolutely congratulations on that yeah uh, and another great career is coming to an end, or so so it may seem. Uh, Rob Gronkowski has announced his retirement with a, a lengthy post. Uh, is this the end of Rob Gronkowski? Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think so, man. This dude, what's he what's he gonna do? Pull Tom Brady just for the fun of it? I, that is some shit I could see Gronk Tom, doing. Like not long after this was announced, Tom Brady went on Twitter being Tom Brady that he is and all he did was post that picture of the dude with the phone just <laughs> <laughs> that's all he posted bro he like retweeted it and he just it was a picture of the dude just pissed off with that phone just... yo I love social media Tom that shit's hilarious <laughs> I, I, I didn't see that I need to see that yeah um, but... don't Great follow is Tom Brady on Twitter, bro. He'd be posting some funny stuff. I don't know if it'll matter, man. I think he's done. I think he's done. You think? For sure. For real? Yeah. It just... Yeah. Like, why would... I don't know. A second retirement, It. that's kind of... Like, I don't know. Like, it's just... To me, why even go through it if you're considering playing? You know, if you're... Like, if you're done, done, you're going to go ahead and just retire. You know? Like yeah. I said, for this, the like second December, time. Maybe, like, December, January, they, like... I don't know. Maybe Gronk, okay. I could Gronk, see something Gronk, like that. You need Gronk for playoff. <laughs> you lose all your tight ends. <laughs> like, you lose all your tight end. <laughs> but um, I could see Gronk something like you. that more realistically. You know, like him coming yeah. out of retirement mid-season, but before the year, no. Nah. Like I told you already. Like oh I, yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen before the year. No, I, I thought, think if anything, it'll be in in the middle or towards the end of the season i thought originally the whole game plan here was brady and him had a little agreement he ain't gonna show up until he's absolutely yeah, mandatory type of that. thing you know and now it's mandatory and gronk ain't showing up so <laughs> it, there's your answer right there yeah i mean if 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 he does come back i think it'll be either halfway through the season or towards the end of the season if he doesn't do it all this season he's he's done what he's if retired they, what if, if he doesn't come back at all is literally just a way to skip trading camp <laughs> yeah that's just a way to get around it he's gonna come out of retirement like preseason week two <laughs> some shit like that <laughs> 
Gronk changed mind. Gronk changed mind. Gronk play football. Gronk play football. Gronk won the party all summer. <laughs> but I mean, he's gonna go down as one of the greatest tight ends to ever play the game. Yeah. Uh, four-time Super Bowl champion, five-time Pro Bowler, 2014 NFL Comeback Player of the Year, NFL 2010s All-Decade Team on nine seasons. Man, <sighs> nine seasons, and Gronk became one of the greatest to ever do it. It, it just shows you, man, how amazing he was. And I, I'm blessed to be able to watch it for so long, you know, just like yeah. he didn't invent the Gronk spike. I don't know why he thinks that he invented the spike. Like, that's definitely a football move. And it's been a, a football move for decades, you know, but yeah, I love the Gronk spike. And like, I will call it a Gronk spike regardless. Like, that's just <laughs> kind of what it is now. But now, I, I, I love seeing. I'm just glad I'm in don't have to play Madden and see this dude go up and then straight across, like go deep across that middle there. <laughs> Catch it every, every time, time. every single yards. time, unstoppable, unstoppable. And you could hit him as hard as you want. You could hit him with two players. He would still catch. He'd catch it with one yep. arm with his Your big robot would get arm. Hurt. Your defender would get hurt because he's got robot arms and robot legs. And he just Bill Belichick put them together and. <laughs> I, and then that lab. Brady took him to Tampa Bay and won another championship with him. Guy caught another Super Bowl touchdown. Just amazing career. Like one of the oh, best yeah. ever. Fantastic. And one like of... you said, it's it's something you really appreciate now that it's over. Is yeah. Looking back where it's like, man, I oh, fucking hate Gronkowski. Just like this beast running over everybody, getting touchdowns mm -hmm. on one of the winningest teams ever, man. <laughs> it's like. At the end, you're like, damn, I actually got to witness this dude's career. That's and crazy. He, without him, we're not as successful as we are. You know, just simply yeah. played. He's... Even even though I hate on LeBron sometimes, at the same time, it's like, damn, I actually got to watch LeBron this whole yeah, time. That's like, crazy. One of the things I think about Le with LeBron that what like when his greatness shocks me, I'm just like, this dude went to eight straight NBA finals. Like, that shit is wild to me. Eight straight years of... Not even just the 82 game season, but like the playoffs, the long jab, like, like how long it is of what is it, four series? You got through, oh my gosh, yeah. just like, and on a different teams and a too. Half, it wasn't even like on the same team. Straight, like, even the first year when he went to this team, finals, first year when he went to this team, finals, like, every year that he was on the Heat and the uh, Cavs, he was at the finals every single year. And that shit just blows my mind, man. Yeah. It is crazy. So, I mean, it's it, when they, people retire like this and we thought fucking Tom Brady did it. We oh. thought he did it, but he didn't. He's uh, and I'm not, we're not going to go all out when he does it again. No. We're not, we're not going to do it. No. Because this dude going straight into broadcasting, he's not retiring. Man made us feel like fools for having a yeah. celebration for him and saying all those kind words and then just going to come yeah. out of retirement 40 days later. Like, yeah. All you're going to get from me if when he officially retires for the game is congrats. That's it. Yeah. That's all you go get. We'll I see. said all I did like last year when you actually said you were gonna retire the first <laughs> yeah, time. We'll Cobb. just replay what we we'll just like insert the clip of us talking about his first <laughs> retirement when he retires next time. Or pre recorded Tom Brady cell uh, yes. retirement message. We already have it for you, Tom, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, that's a great I'm gonna remember I'm gonna have to write that down. So when he does retire, <laughs> I'm just gonna repost the clip from what he did it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. oh man but yeah congrats to grok hopefully you know we get to see him doing something in the nfl here yeah. in his retirement oh, i'm sure we'll around. see him around uh speaking of another retired player we will be seeing around here uh ryan fitzpatrick joined amazon prime video as a pregame analyst on thursday night football yep dope so we're gonna be able to see that beard out there you know he's gonna be talking football <laughs> just joking around <laughs> he I'm needs to come out it. with that like the the Sean Jackson like open shirt and the He's chain be in and some sunglasses, like, tight ass suit, you know, looking like <laughs> super fly. Like I could just picture it already, looking like a businessman, not like an NFL sideline reporter. <laughs> so yeah, that would be pretty cool. I'm I'm interested to see because it seems like even more players are going straight into the the yeah. broadcasting than ever before, it. which is really cool. At players in our era. Exactly. Which is gonna be cool. That's why it's so cool to me and to you, like to our to our generation, like seeing these players on the sideline is gonna be awesome. Imagine in like 15, 20 years, what like inside the NBA is gonna be like. I know we're switching from NFL to NBA. Draymond, but like, Draymond, LeBron, Pat Bev, LeBron. <laughs> you know, uh, Pat Bev gonna be on there or something. Oh, uh, yeah. God. Damian Lillard. Or so I don't know. I don't know, man. That's a crazy. That's something crazy to think about there. 
JJ Reddick. JJ for sure. <laughs> He'll be like um, Ernie. Ernie. He'll be there in the middle of like mediating everything. <laughs> oh man, who knows? <laughs> I you feel know like Draymond, Draymond will, be will that. definitely be a part of it though. There's maybe saying... Dwayne Wade because he does that stuff oh, yeah. every now and then. There's talks about maybe like Kenny. <laughs> There's talks about um, Draymond being the one to step in for Charles whenever he. Oh yeah, who would be the Shaq? Who are we gonna get Dray- in for Shaq? Draymond one? would be Shaq. Uh, you know, Who'd as far be Chuck, as like then? Chuck. Mm, that's I don't know who would be the Chuck on the on the show. Because D Wade would definitely be Kenny, and then you got JJ as Ernie. Who would be Chuck? Mm, Zion. <laughs> yeah. some shit or Pat like that. Bev or Pat because he Bev. doesn't have any rings yeah they would just be some wild stuff. shitting on him the whole time <laughs> like shut up Pat you ain't got no rings <laughs> like I can hear Draymond saying that shit too <laughs> and D-Wade just laughing <laughs> like you know <laughs> I can picture it man that'd be great dude I can't wait to see that ha- what happens with that uh, moving on Deshaun Watson story just keeps continuing. Uh, apparently, he's reached a, a confidential settlement with all but four of his civil lawsuits yeah. that were filed against him. Ah, man. Which seems pretty like, okay, I just, so you reached a settlement, huh? I just don't like any of this. It's so shady. It's but apparently, all... from what they're saying, this has no impact on the collectively bargained disciplinary process by the NFL. Good. Like, it's happening. I still think they should suspend them, And like, there's still more people going forward with what they're doing. I think it's just ridiculous, man. Like, like I saw this thing. Calvin Ridley bet 1500 bucks. you go suspend him a whole year. You better suspend this dude at least a year. At least, yeah. man. Like, that's just how I feel. I saw, because people have been talking about Big Ben a lot here recently. Yeah, man. Uh, he got four games. And he was accused by two people. So That's two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some math. You had like twenty six. You, you got... <laughs> this dude isn't playing for a couple. He of ain't years. gonna be playing until Bronny's in the NBA, bro. It seems like there people are saying it might be like at least a year. I I personally like I don't want to see him play football at all this year. I don't, like I no, don't want... not that. at all. I'm, I not don't like seeing him at trade camp. I don't like seeing him at like golf outings and shit. Like it just feels so uncomfortable. I'm like, man, fuck this. <laughs> I every time I see a picture of him practicing or whatever, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, oh, this, this is weird, man. Why? <laughs> why is this allowed? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And but I'm you sure know, Browns going on Browns. The team that think the same thing, you know. Yeah. Browns going Browns, <sighs> man. Browns go, I would hate to be a Browns fan right now, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, in general, but even now, even more yeah. so now. It's like, man, what are you going to just stop being a Browns fan? Like, just fuck. Bro, just oh. be a free agent and just hop on one of these teams, yeah, man. Yeah, spend a year Don't want to play. Even if you hop to, like, the Chiefs or one of these title like, cont- like, hey. contenders, all you got to say was, I was a Browns fan. And people, like, oh, hey, oh, oh. No, no problem, man. I totally understand. They'll welcome you with open arms. Yeah, jump Any to them bills. Base. If you go and do something, jump to them bills. Yeah. Jump to the Chiefs. The Bengals, you know, maybe. The Bengals. You know, one of these up and covered teams, man. Why not? Not the Patriots. <laughs> hey, you never know. You never know. We'll see. Don't say nothing. Oh, it doesn't sound too good there on the Patriots. I just All I could think about in my head is a couple weeks ago when I looked at the power rankings and it was just like Eagles number seven. Patriots 21. <laughs> I'm like, I was gonna say, it seems like me and you are having vastly different opinions on our teams right now, bro. I know it's just some bullshit as power rankings, but it just had me shook. Yeah, I'm just like, I understand. I've been shook when you weeks. see them for the first time, I'm like, oh. so I'm just hoping for some good, good stuff in the offseason here. Let's get some momentum, it's some just positive vibes. Power you know? rankings, just some assholes' predictions. Some Don't worry assholes about it. Predictions, they're not, they're never right anyway. You know, so <laughs> yeah. Don't them, even you know? worry. But your patience is gonna be fine. We'll be fine. You got Mac Jones, man. He's the uh, future. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> Hey man, I'm hoping Jalen Hurts is a future too. Jeez, oh god. Uh, moving on, uh, former Bengals defensive tackle Larry Agunjobi, Agunjobi. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. Has signed a one-year deal with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Mm. Uh, he's now played with the Browns, Bengals, and now the Steelers. Hey, next is the Ravens. 
Hey, possible. It's quite possible. Uh, let me see here. Uh, apparently, a couple teams got fined here during training camp for going too rough during their training camp. Apparently, they're getting too physical. The practice has been too physical here. Uh, one of the offenders is Dallas Cowboys. Mike McCarthy <laughs> was fined $100,000, and the Cowboys were docked in organized team activity in 2023, holding practices that were deemed too physical by the Jay NFL. Jones somewhere like, that's strike one. Mike McCarthy will not be coach of the Cowboys in 2024. Better make sure my players are, are healthy going into the season. <laughs> I don't want to see no physical. I, you, you know why we got caught? Because I saw you out there window. Yeah, I, said, Jerry Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you, and I said, we got to do something about it. I got to get this suit of Mike. I'm going to tell, tell Roger. Tell old Rod. I'm going to give him $100,000. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and you know what, Mike? I'm not paying it because you deserve this. You need to learn. Oh, my God, man. Hey, hey, <laughs> fuck the Cowboys, first of all, okay? And, you know, like I said, I just don't think – McCarthy has a job after this season, but what were some of the other teams that got fined? Uh, the Texans, uh, Lovey Smith was fined fifty thousand due to prohibited one-on-one -on -one O line versus D line Damn, drills. Apparently, they're doing some crazy drills. And the Commanders coach Ron Rivera was fined one hundred thousand, and Washington loses two twenty twenty three OTA practices due to excessive contact in practice drills. So they must have been going even harder than Dallas. <laughs> Because they lost two practices next year. No, you know what it is? Is there's twice the amount of eyeballs on the commanders at all times right now, as far as all, anything at all times. rule crossing, rule breaking. You know, so like they're they're going to get the heavy it's so hammer funny regardless that of what they do. Taking practices away for like next year because like you worked so damn hard these practice. You worked enough. Like you did enough work for multiple practices. <laughs> so we're taking some off next year too. Your players better be ready. <laughs> you better. Yeah, that's just some shit, man. It is some shit. Oh, man. Uh, but moving on to the Washington Commanders here. Uh, a new report has come out detailing a two, the 2009 a like sexual assault case against Dan Snyder. Uh, apparently against a former employee who was saying that he asked for sex pretty much and tried taking off her clothes. And apparently he, you know went to a settlement and he paid her off at that point oh, but this shit. like none of this was fully declosed of what was you know there was just a report that you know he was being alleged for you know something something bad back in 2009 now apparently the full story is come, come out the hush hush until now yeah apparently and this is among news that dan snyder is not cooperating and he's not going to be being yeah. interviewed in this like this whole case is going this on dude. around him. He, apparently, he's conveniently in France. He said he's out of the country. They've offered him to telecom in to he's do like, his I thing. And he said, my, I got nah. my cell service is kind of shitty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't really much service here in France, whatever. But, bro, this dude could have lose his team. Here. He's going to lose his team, and, like, it's crazy that we keep saying shit. Every time something shady comes up about him, we're like, oh, he's going to lose his team, and then something worse comes up. Every single time. And that's the thing, where it's like, everybody would just assume, well, the NFL is going to find a way to cover it up, whereas, like, now every week it's something different. Yeah. Where it's like, at this point, how can the NFL stand by and just let this be okay? Yeah. You got to do something about this. You got to get this dude out of here. Man. The NFL spends so much time investigating shit other than football. It's ridiculous. They spend so much time protecting, you know, all their own. Yeah. Those dudes, you know, the suits. Time and money. They protect their own. Protecting their money. But Dan Snyder's fucking with their pockets, business, too. But this is even worse for business, and he's, man. He's fucking with their pockets, too, now. You know? so Exactly. Like, you gotta do something. Gotta do something, man. I just... I don't understand that they made him change the name. Like, there's so many things that have happened. He doesn't control things anymore. He, he like, even stepped down. Like, it wasn't yeah, his wife. His wife or, like, his team now. And he's still running getting, it. like, there's it's just more and more shit every week, like you said, about Dan Slater. Yeah. This God. dude, like, shady as they come. Get him out of here. Uh, moving on. Lamar Jackson was asked if he would be down for playing with the Ravens for the rest of his career. He said, I expect so. Yes, I do. I expect so, so. So he hopes that he's playing with the Ravens for the yeah, rest of his career. Just, That's pretty cool. He's on the contract right now. Like, they're just trying to do whatever they can as far as asking him questions like that to get some type of information on his contract. Like, he's just like, yeah, like, man, 
fuck out of here. I'm just trying to fucking play some football. I'm at training camp. <laughs> Straight up. Just ridiculous, man. Just stop asking questions about the future. I'm just trying to play, play some football. We yeah, of course right I want to be here. Of course. Like, what do you expect them to say? Like, nah, I'm probably going to sign like a three-year deal, hit free agency, peace out. Like, fuck out of here. Yeah, no one's going to say that shit. Yeah. Uh, 49ers tight end George Kittle uh, came out and said that they thinks that the NFL should implement another bye week to combat the physical toll of the 17 week yeah, season. I saw that and I definitely think that's a good idea, you know. Yeah. Why not? I think this next bargain agreement's going to be rough. Yeah. I don't know when it is for the NFL, but I think they're going to have a lot of talks, especially since they added that game, you know, because yeah. they're going to want to add another game. Most I was going to say we've been talking about 18 game season for a while now and this was just a stepping stone. And if there is absolutely no way they have an 18 game season without two bye weeks because they're going to want two bye weeks no right way. now as it is, you know. So like, yeah, there's going to have to that's going to have to be the compromise is two bye weeks for 18 games, you know. But oh man, 18 football games, Ooh, no. man, that's a shit you got... of fucking. <laughs> it's games. nice for us, but then players are like, oh god, <laughs> give me more money because yeah. like, my body can't take it. That is so many car crashes. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Oh my God. 18. It's not like basketball. It's not like baseball. It's just 18 games. 18. I, like you said, it's good for us, but it's also like how many games are you going to have where until the product starts going down? Yeah. And I mean, you got to think if they're adding more games, you would think with more games, you're going to want to add more teams eventually. Yeah. As well. They're going to expand eventually. Yeah. I absolutely foresee that. It's just natural. It's going to go into our plan, man. The world world organization. Yes. That's why they're branching out into different countries right now. <laughs> uh, last couple things here. Just news. The 2022 season NF NFL trade deadline set for November 1st. Okay. So just an important date to keep. Very important keeping date. Keeping your head there. Uh, last two things safety Kareem Willis for the Colts is retiring after three seasons okay uh, apparently he's he's going to become like a he's I don't know what he's actually doing but he says that he's going to follow in the path of you know just his religious beliefs pretty okay. much okay gotcha. so he's going to be going and participating in that I'm, I'm sure going out and doing these like missionary trips and stuff like that yeah but he he found he thinks that his his life is going in a different path that doesn't involve football which man hey i respect yeah, man. more power to him man yeah especially to have like the courage to just do it yeah you know go against everything and just exactly go for it. came in got your got your dough Buy as well, man. You can do yeah. whatever you want at that point. Three years, he probably didn't get a shitload, but especially if he invested it correctly and like he knows what exactly. he's doing, like that he could absolutely just do what he needs to do. Like he said, be a missionary yeah. or something. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and last thing I had here was Steelers uh, safety Minka Fitzpatrick reached an agreement on a four-year deal worth eighteen point four mil a year. Man, that's that's pretty good money for Minka Fitzpatrick, one of the top corners in the yeah. game. Yeah. You said he resigned with Pittsburgh. Yeah. Four -year okay. Deal. So that's huge for Pittsburgh. Um, well, safety, but I, he has played corner before. Yeah, but still, but yeah. like that's definitely a huge, huge deal, you know, because he's going to be. Oh yeah. The piece that they can kind of build around on that defense, and they're they're known for that defense. So that's exactly that's very important for them to lock him down. Uh, before we move on, do you agree with uh, Chase Claypool? You thinking no. that he's a top three receiver? In the <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> No, no, absolutely not. And like the thing about it, I saw that real early, like today, I saw that. And I was, I just kind of like, I, I was like, oh, but I just went past it. And then later on in the day, I saw something where it was like a picture of like 30 dudes that were better than Ch Chase Claypool. <laughs> <laughs> it had like 30 wide receivers that were better than Chase Claypool. You know, people gonna take the time to do it. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> man. So it People's was just hilarious. Something like that. As but reckless no, as that. That's that's very reckless to say in a league that has DeAndre Hopkins and you know like get, get the fuck out of here. Come on now, like 
He wasn't Juju oh, was better that. than him for real. Like I know he had that great season, but like he it was more of like a volume thing. Like Juju, I think is probably more talented. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Juju, we'll see. he's on the Chiefs now. He's on the Chiefs now. He's got Pat Mahomes throwing to him, so it's even better. So if he oh. fails now, then we know Claypool is probably better. But like I, don't, I do not think he is top three. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I don't think Alex thinks he's top three. Steelers fan. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Steelers fans think he's yeah. top three. <laughs> like <laughs> Uh, moving on here, PGA, PGA Tour will introduce an eight no, eight no cut events in fall twenty twenty three, featuring purses of twenty million dollars each. They folded. Per- <laughs> they folded. You're telling me they folded? Well, it's it seems like they're they're trying to offer more money in these events than they did previously. So they're like, well, people that are compete in PGA, we're gonna give you like ten mil more. We're gonna give you like twenty mil every time you win now. But one of the things like that was so secret about the PGA is the cut, like com- on yeah. s- competing on Sunday against the motherfuckers that made it. Like, like we ain't gonna cut. We ain't gonna cut you. Everybody has opportunity with twenty man. You motherfuckers folded. They just. But we ain't gonna give you guys like a hundred mil each. So fuck that. <laughs> yeah. But that's where we draw the line. <laughs> we ain't, you guys want us to pay you like just for showing up. Man. Fuck that. Fuck you gotta that. lose no, win. Like. Got- yeah, you gotta win See, it. You gotta least, earn it, man. At least they have that, I guess. But that's kind of ridiculous. But hopefully, it only is a couple matches, and it doesn't expand to like everything, you know? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Like, I would hate to see the Masters like that, man. Fuck that. Oh, I know, man. Come on now. Uh, <laughs> we don't normally report on uh, WWE because it's not real sports. <laughs> <laughs> I figured this was big enough news to talk about. Uh, <laughs> sorry, wrestling fans, if you're watching this. Uh, Vince McMahon voluntarily stepped down as WWE and CEO amid an investigation into $3 million payments to an alleged mistress and sexual assault. Oh, shit. Vince McMahon getting taken down, Now, bro. is this a real story, or is this something that he curated here and put out like, <laughs> no apparently this is a real story this is real this is real this... yeah this isn't uh this isn't a a, a written one for he's actually for sweating this out right now because that sounds par for the course as far as like anything i've seen on there you know it's pretty yeah crazy. it's not like it's not like a, his mistress has got to run out and they go fight <laughs> In the middle of the ring or something. something, you know. <laughs> that's ridiculous. So if that's real, that's crazy, man. That's wild. Yeah, that sounds you like know some it's serious enough shit. if he's stepping down. Yeah, this dude's been running that show for how many so, years now? 30, 40 years now. You say, crazy. Like, who's running it now? Is it like Triple H? Like or anything like that? Like I think it's a. It's like his one of his like kids okay. i think it's his family that's still running it as of right now uh okay. but i know that like triple h i think so i'm not you know i don't watch wwe or anything uh i'm sure I, from what i understand they are all still involved like highly with that stuff but i think yeah. it's now like since he stepped down it's going to like the next board or person below him right. chairman of the board or something right Okay. I don't know. Well, that's interesting, man. Let's I don't know enough about it and all the pieces of the WWE hierarchy. It's fucking scandals, <laughs> man. Uh, rolling some NHL here. They had the awards tonight. Apparently, Aston Math- Austin Matthews, he won the Hart Memorial Trophy, making him the NHL MVP. Mm-hmm. Played for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yep, yep. Congratulations, Congratulations to, him. to him. Had a hate, uh, or hate. Had a great season. Yeah. Had a hate and season. And talking about them Stanley Cup finals here. Not going as well as uh we thought. We thought them lightning gonna be cruising. Maybe but they not. down a uh, two one right now. Mm. They got blown out. See, well, they they lost in overtime in the first game, and then they got blown out in the second game. They were down o o two, and now it's two one. So like they do have life. Yep, yeah, and you know the uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning have had these slow starts yeah sporadic and then they and then they just turn it on man so i wouldn't be surprised if they just end up winning like we we said about the warriors they're gonna win these like next two yeah before the uh before it went to 2-1 we should have bet on uh tampa bay to win it all you know because that would be the best odds they would have been like down low as far as the odds so kind of missed the opportunity on that but i i still see them winning this series even on that even though they lost like seven nothing that one night that shit was crazy yeah i was i was super surprised by that but they went out and you know they beat the brakes off of the the avalanche the other night in game three uh 
yeah, game three. But game four, you know, I'm still betting on them, them lightning here yeah. to win it all, like you said. Me too. Uh, so we can roll right into our bias bubbles of the week here. I know you said you didn't have too much. Yeah, as far as my Patriots, I don't have much to be honest, I don't have anything. I had like a little bit of the Gronk news, you know, just wanted to say like, hey, amazing career. I don't think he's faking it this time. Like, I don't think he faked it the first time, but, you know, because he did retire <laughs> for a whole year. But I, I don't think he's faking it. I think he's done, done. Um, so congratulations to Gronk. Uh, like we talked about, I got decade of memories of Gronk playing for for the Patriots so it's, it's amazing yeah. you know I, I think about him having that huge catch like one of his last big hurrahs for us was that huge catch in the Super Bowl against the Rams that really helped us with that drive it just got us out there like I just I think about gave that you guys momentum you know, gave us that 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 push we needed um one of many amazing Gronk plays that we've had um a lot of not so great plays too like whatever he went and <laughs> pile drive that guy on the ground and shit like that you know like remember that like when he the, didn't tackle the dude that ran back like he, that kick yeah, return to win like the game for some reason we have Gronk on defense <laughs> and <laughs> i just thought and what did you expect to happen you didn't tell me how to do anything coach so you know congratulations to Gronk. um yeah congrats as far as my lakers okay so apparently the hornets are interested in russ okay i saw That'd be very good for us. I don't know what they have to give us. They can give us anything. I don't care what they give us. Anything. Anything. <laughs> anything. I'm, I'm over it. Anything. I'm over it at this point, you know. And the thing about it is if he stays a Laker, Dervin Ham has said that he has challenged Westbrook to accept a new role and that he has accepted it. So, like, what, whatever that means, okay, we'll see. <laughs> um, I know it ain't coming off the bench. That's for damn sure. So, yeah. Like, um, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Who really knows? Um, but the Lakers are also interested in Bradley Beal, apparently, and Kyrie Irving, like we were saying. So they're definitely trying to make some moves. You know, we'll see what happens here with the draft and the trades and everything. I hope we're active, but I really don't know what's going to happen. Um, well, I think is, is Bradley Beal's a free agent, right? Yeah, but they were they they yeah. were saying like they're interested in bringing him in. That would be fucking amazing. You know. Uh oh. What happened? You like froze. Oh no, I'm good on this end. Okay, yeah, like you froze and you stopped. Like I didn't hear anything after that. <laughs> okay, all good, all good. You good I'll, now? I'll just start after uh, the Bradley Beal because we were good. Like right where you said, uh oh, I could. Cut. Yeah. But yeah, Bradley Beal, he's a free agent, so mm -hmm. I think he would definitely be easier for you guys to get yeah. than having to work with Man, that's for Kyrie. Huge. That'd be huge for me. Uh, I would love that. Uh, but then we had Kendrick Nunn, who picked up his player option for six mil, where he said last year like he fully expected to, to do this, and now here we already did it. Uh, so we'll be having him back as well. Uh, the Lakers worked out Shaq's son, Sharif O'Neal. I saw. Which, that's pretty fucking dope, man. How, how that great is would that cool. be to sign, uh, to draft Shaq's son, you know? That, that would just be amazing. Um, that would be. Shaq's son, LeBron's son, all of them. We need them all, you know? Um, That'd be crazy if Orlando scooped him. Yeah, and then traded <laughs> him to us a couple years. <laughs> um, and then the last thing I had here was, uh, finally, we got a trailer for the Lakers 10-part documentary, like The Last I did. Dance. I saw that. And it looks dope. It looks so well done. It looks like they're getting all the, the people in for interviews that they need to get in yeah. for interviews it's like you know the, and it seems like they're <laughs> when i saw the trailer it made it seem like they was trying to discredit that showtime series oh 100 percent. because it's like the real true story of they're the trying, when they set out they were just trying to copy the last dance the same way kobe copied michael okay they yeah. were trying to emulate it step for step just to make a great documentary on the lakers and then here mm -hmm. comes winning time and now the, it's all time, shifted yeah. to like fuck this like they 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 think they could tell our story so like it's just like I, i'm excited for it Ten focusing parts. on like this is what actually happened yes. this is the true story and they're going from the 79 <laughs> season all the way up until the 2020 championship um and there's LeBron, that's really cool like interviews with lebron Shaq, genie phil jackson like i can't wait man i can't wait to see i'm gonna have to watch that shit it's gonna be so cool it's gonna be just like the last dance to me you it's know? on is it on espn hulu hulu oh yep. even better nice yep so um, that's that's what I'm excited for, but that's all I had here for for the Lakers. 
Okay. Uh, I actually have some more Bulls stuff than Eagles this week. Uh, like I mentioned before, the Bulls are interested in free agent P.J. Tucker, bringing mm-hmm. him onto the, the roster. Nice for you guys. Bulls have also had eyes on John Collins because he's been linked to being moved from Atlanta, which would be pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let me see here. Uh, they've been linked to Rudy Gobert. I mean, we talked about this the past couple weeks. Keep seeing pictures. The consensus of is they're saying if if Rudy does get traded, because they're saying they don't know if he's even going to be traded at all. If they're saying if he does get traded, they're saying Chicago is the name that's out there. I'm not too sure, but it seems like the, the Bulls are trying to get rid of this 18th pick and trying to get other picks as well uh, to do something. I'm not sure what they're up to. They're, they're so probably going to end up landing him here. It's, if it, if it I, seems I like no that's what, what's going on, then I could see you guys ending up with Good Bear there and really pushing for, for some playoffs, you know. I hope, but I would hate to lose Patrick Williams, man. I actually yeah. I really like Patrick Williams. But Rudy Gobert would help us out. I it's I'm kind of, you know, day by day with it. One day I'm, I'm really down with it. The other way I'm like, I'm not sure. Uh, there was a report today that came out that Vooch is interested in extension with the Bulls, where it's just like, I don't know, man. I, I think it's either him or Gobert, so I don't know what's going to happen. I don't see Vooch sticking around, taking less money to be a backup or work with Gobert, you know? That's going to be a lot of money between Lonzo, DeMar, Zach, and Gobert. <laughs> we'll see what happens, man. Anything for that championship. Oh, yeah, exactly. One step at a time. One piece at a time. Uh, and apparently, this was breaking news over the week, uh, interested teams have been informed that Zach Levine is going to sign a five-year max deal with the Bulls. Hey, there you go. So he, he tested the waters. He ended up coming back home. He's like, you know what? Fuck it. I, yeah. I, I figured so, I was going to stay here anyway. Until about the end of the month when free agency or like opens and everything or like he can actually sign, that's when we'll figure out the actual details of the contract. Yeah, but they're being I'll, told I'll, he's... I'll be... I'm going to pass out when I see them numbers, bro. I'm going to be like, oh, man, what are we going to do? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. But going on to the, some Eagles stuff here, Jalen Hurts filed a trademark for the a- application for Hurts So Good as oh, a trademark. Shit. So apparently he's going to be launching a clothing line, a brand of clothing that has Hurts So Good on it. Okay. Uh, you know, t-shirts, hats, and stuff. It's going to be dope. I'm going to have to get me one of them, Johns, yeah, when it comes out. Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the Eagles pissed off a lot of their fans here this past week. You know, they had a great off season, but they, you know, decided to like, cap it off, pissing some fans off because they changed their uh, oh man word mark logo, bro. Did you I see this? I saw that. They changed it to some, they... like, shit that looks like the Jets. Yeah, bro. It pissed so many Eagles fans off. <laughs> They're Why like, what is this? this generic shit? I... Right, I love the old school, like kind of arced, you know, with the points on the ends, and now it looks it like some unique. generic, like 2022 logo you see. Yeah, it's like, it what the hell looks is this? Like the Jets, and I'm like, fuck that. Like the Patriots, like that. You know what I mean? They changed it, obviously, but like, it's just there's something about it. They, there's, you know, I, I hate, I hate the way it looks. To be honest with you, I, I hate the new look. I love the old the uh, Eagles logo. It looked way better. I do too, man. Just like everybody else. Now there has been some rumors that apparently this isn't the like official one going forward. Apparently it's going to be used in certain circumstances mm-hmm. or certain marketing. Um, I hope so because man, the other one is, is classic at this point, man. You yeah. can't get rid of it, especially for something just <clears throat> kind of just generic like that. Right. So I wasn't about that one. Uh, the other news that I was about that I was hoping was going to happen, Eagles went out and signed a veteran safety man, and that was the missing piece on say, on uh, on the roster. I thought uh, they went out and signed uh, veteran safety Jaquiski Tart from the 49ers mm-hmm. uh, on a one year deal. Uh, he's played very solid for them these past couple years. Uh, you know, going into the NFC title game, there he almost caught that interception to seal it for him. Uh, but he's been playing pretty great for them. He has a pretty good record against some of these receivers. Uh, I think it's a great depth move, the piece yeah. with some of these young guys on the safety position. And I, this is exactly what I wanted, was to go out and get a nice safety. Exactly. And you already kind of bolstered up the cornerback position there. You know, so like, um, yeah. this, this is just perfect. This is even more depth. Like Boosted you that defensive line. Mm-hmm. Who's got the linebackers taken care of. Now he got, you know, some safety depth, corner depth. That defense is looking real nice. The offense is turning around. 
I'm ready for some Eagles football because it's looking like we actually have the a nice Eagles team. Eagles are looking nice. Got to admit, the Eagles we are actually got nice. a nice team. And I, as much as everybody hates to admit it, he ain't out of the water yet. But good job, Howie Roseman. Yeah, uh, like this dude for now. did this, did all this in one off season somehow. I don't know how he did it. And then next year we got two first round picks to get like to use. So I don't know. I don't know how he did it. But man, if Hurts is the dude, we gonna be going out here and getting some even better talent next year. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of the show here. Before we go, we're going to go into the crazy sports stat fact of the podcast. And since the NBA Finals just finished, uh, the crazy sports stat at the back of the fa- is about the finals. Only three NBA teams have won every single finals they've competed in. Do you know which teams? The Bulls. Ding, ding. You got one of them. Hmm. The... Rockets? Nope. I don't know. All right, you got Toronto. Oh, shit, okay. <laughs> so the Bulls, you got Chicago, Toronto, and then Sacramento. Oh, the shit. Okay. How many of the Kings been to? That I don't know. I should have looked that up. <laughs> <laughs> they won one. <laughs> That's crazy, man. No, I, I had no idea. That is pretty crazy. That's a wild stat there. See here. <laughs> I look up the Kings and it's like since 2006, the Kings have had 16 consecutive losing seasons. Like, oh man, I, I wanted the good stuff. I wanted the good news. Nineteen fifty-one. One chip. One chip. Ridiculous. That's it. Made in that 1951, list on a technicality. everybody, everybody, even watching this wasn't even around at that time. Yeah, nobody, so we, won. nobody even people were like, wait, but Kings won, won a championship. <laughs> That's what I'm like. What? What? Oh man! After six, sixteen, like losing seasons, <laughs> he said, like, come on now. But yeah, that's pretty crazy. Uh, great way to end the show. Make sure to like and like, share and subscribe. Tell your friends. Make sure to follow us at Twitter at Squad Pod Sports. Check out all the content across the Waves Five channel and head on over to the Squad Pod Sports channel as well. We're starting to pump content onto there, as, uh, so that way you don't have to always go to the Waves Five channel. We'll have one specific source for all the sports content that you need. Right. Uh, so until next week, we'll see everybody later. Peace.